Hi, I'm Ben, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to be doing a video on a topic that I get asked a lot about, and that is a pretty interesting and personal uh, part of my skincare journey. And I wrote an article on this, I don't know, like two or three years ago, and I still get a lot of questions about it to this day. People are very curious about it, and it's I think it's an area that there's a little bit of a lack of information and kind of personal experience and personal stories, and that is Accutane. So for those of you that don't know, I did Accutane in my junior year of high school. Um, it was kind of my last resort. I had really, really terrible acne. Um, and so I ended up going on Accutane. And so I kind of wanted to just make a video today to talk a little bit about that and talk about why I chose to do Accutane and kind of like what I did in the decision up to the decision to do it what it was like when I was on Accutane, and what my skin was like, what the side effects were, what the side effects are that I'm still dealing with today that have been long term, and then also how my skin has changed since I did it, and kind of my Accutane post care. So if you're interested, and if you're someone who's considered Accutane, curious about Accutane, has done Accutane, don't even know what Accutane is, and you're curious, so be it. Um, I hope this video is really helpful for you, so let's go. So the first thing I wanna talk about is my decision to take Accutane. For those of you that don't know, Accutane is an extreme acne drug. Um, it provides a really high dose of vitamin A to your body um, and changes the way that your skin produces oil and sebum and works pretty much miracles on even the most difficult forms of acne. But it is really, really intense. There are a lot of serious side effects and there are a lot of safety protocols that have to be in place for you to take it. So. It really is kind of like a last resort drug. And that's what it was for me. I had struggled with really bad acne for a long time, and I tried pretty much every option under the sun. Like my acne was so bad, and I was trying so many different things because I was desperate to get rid of it, but I was also really ambivalent about Accutane, and I didn't know if it was something that I wanted to do. So I tried so many things. I tried your typical kind of like drugstore and like over-the-counter stuff, acne face washes, acne creams, acne toners, etc. I tried topical antibiotics. I used Differin for a while, which is probably the most effective topical antibiotic that I used. I tried internal oral antibiotics. I tried couple different oral antibiotics actually that my dermatologist recommended. I tried natural options, like I did like an essential oil balancing treatment. I did like a whole natural line that was targeted towards acne and like balancing the skin and stuff like that. And I tried pretty much anything that my dermatologist recommended along the way. The thing that I didn't try where I didn't try laser, I didn't try LED, I didn't try that kind of stuff. Um, my dermatologist didn't really feel like those were gonna be effective for someone with the acne that I had, but to give you some context, my acne was really intense. I had really bad cystic acne and it was all over my face. It was not like specific spots of my face that were really bad, it was everywhere. And it hurt, like it was really deep cystic acne. And so it really hurt on my skin. I could feel it every morning, like throughout the day. It was just like painful. Um, my skin was sensitive to the touch. It was very red, really sensitive to the sun, obviously, because there were so many breakouts. And it was just in really, really bad shape. And I would wake up every morning and just deal with like this face that is covered in pimples. And it was really, really frustrating. And to try all of these different treatments and try all of these different products, all of which promised to cure my acne and absolutely none of them worked, was really, really frustrating. And it got to the point where I just kind of wanted to give up. Like, I didn't have anything to think about in terms of like skincare because all I could focus on was acne. Like, I didn't have skin goals, I didn't have anything that I wanted to achieve for my skin because I would literally just get up in the morning and I would look in the mirror and I'd be like, you look terrible and there's nothing that can change that. And it was really, really frustrating. It took a huge toll on my confidence, especially in high school. And it was certainly exacerbated by the fact that I was an athlete and I lived in a really dry, high altitude and climate. So my skin was just like even worse on top of all of that. And it was really frustrating. And it was difficult to wake up every day and feel like I didn't like the way that I looked and that it was just kind of, you know, not something that I could change. But also I felt like my skin was sick. Like I felt like it was something that should be treatable, something that I should be able to get rid of. And it was just like so 
frustrating and defeating and irritating that I didn't feel like I could. And so after doing a whole bunch of different treatments, my dermatologist pretty much recommended that I get on Accutane sooner rather than later because she was really concerned about scarring and permanent damage from my acne. Um, I had a really caring, kind dermatologist who was really, really thoughtful in her recommendations and I was very lucky in that regard. And so my mom and I talked about Accutane for about a month and did a lot of research. It is a really scary drug, so I was pretty ambivalent about getting on it and had some fears for sure, but my dermatologist really walked me through it, kind of took me through step by step what the treatment was going to look like, what the drug was going to do, um, kind of like worst case scenario side effects that had happened and also like best case scenario side effects. And then the company that manufactures Accutane also has a really intense protocol in place called iPledge and you have to sign a whole bunch of paperwork and you have to review this kind of like handbook manual of how to use Accutane, what you can and can't do while you're on it. To give you some context, um, this is for women. If you take Accutane, you have to be abstinent and or use two different forms of birth control, I'm pretty sure it is. Don't quote me on that, but it's something pretty extreme like that. Because if you get pregnant while you're taking Accutane, it's almost guaranteed that your child is gonna be born with birth defects. So um, it's pretty severe. And for my treatment, um, I did Accutane for six months and my dermatologist told me we would need to have, I would need to come in every month for a checkup to make sure that I wasn't experiencing anything that would cause me to need to get off the medication. So understandably, it was kind of terrifying. <laughs> Um, and I kind of had a long conversation with my mom about whether or not it was worth it, whether or not I felt like this was a serious enough issue, and if it was something that was going to be worth the time, the money, um, and the energy, and the potential side effects. But like I said, I pretty much had really low self-confidence. It was a huge issue for me. Your skin is like literally your face to the world. and so. We decided that it was definitely worth it and that taking the risk and making the investment was gonna be a good thing in the long run. So I started my course. My course was six months long and I went into the dermatologist every month and I got a blood draw, a skin check, and just like had a conversation with my dermatologist. The blood draw, I don't know exactly what it was checking for, but I'm pretty sure it's like white blood cell count and liver function, I think were the two things that she said. Um, those are other side effects. I know that Accutane can be, I believe that Accutane can be hard on the liver, and so they check a lot of those kind of things and kind of the operating of your internal organs um, in tandem with the medicine. So I got a blood draw every month. She would kind of take a look at my face, see the progress that I was making, and just kind of talk to me about what was going on, what my side effects were, how I was tolerating the medicine, etc. So on that note, we should probably talk about the side effects. Um, as I expected, Accutane was a really hard drug to be on. There are a lot of side effects, both skin-related and not skin-related. Skin-related Accutane just dries you out so much. Like, I literally cannot even put into words how dry my skin got on Accutane. It was like unbelievable. My skin, my lips, my hands, my body, everywhere was just like so dry. My dermatologist put me on the heaviest cream I've ever used called Vanny Cream, um, which was pretty useful for my face and was pretty helpful in terms of keeping my skin hydrated, but I literally had to apply it like three times a day to keep my face hydrated. And my lips, it was like unreal. I was going through like three tubes of chapstick a week because I just literally could not keep my lips hydrated. And I was using so much hand cream, so much chapstick, etc. It was like unfathomable. And if you talk to really anybody that's been on Accutane, this is a common side effect. A lot of people experience this, but it's definitely the driest that my skin has ever been. And then I had a handful of non-skin um, related side effects. Accutane definitely affected my mood. Um, I was a little more sensitive and prone to sadness when I was on it. Accutane has been uh, kind of known to potentially be linked to depression and I'm not sure what the science is on it and I don't know if there's a direct correlation, but I know that a lot of people have made claims of it and it's something that they warn you about with 
in your eye pledge, that it's something that could potentially occur. So when I met with my dermatologist every month, she was very sure to always check in on just like how I was feeling, like emotionally and kind of how I was coping that way. And so there was that. I also really struggled with concentration. It was kind of difficult to be on it in school because it definitely affected my ability to focus and it affected my attention span. It affected my vision. At night, it was difficult for me to, to drive because I had a lot of sensitivity to headlights and to bright lights, um, which is another thing that can occur when you're on Accutane. There are vision-related things. And then I also developed pretty bad lower back pain. And that was something that I struggled with. Um, sitting, standing, lying down, however, I had really bad lower back pain and I was a cross country runner and a track runner and we did a lot of stuff with the core that required a lot of lower back strength and so um, it definitely kind of got in the way of that but those are really my big things was mood, concentration, um, I envision stuff and my lower back pain. And those were the things that I struggled with the most as well as just like dryness, dryness, dryness. And so it was definitely difficult, but after being on it for like two months, I just got used to it. Like that was kind of my new normal and I didn't really notice the side effects all that much other than the dryness. Like I definitely noticed that I was using so much fucking chapstick all the time. Um, but the other things, I just kind of got used to them and they stopped bothering me after a while. Um, and that was pretty much what I dealt with for six months. The blood draws, I got used to them too. Seeing my dermatologist every month, it was actually kind of a warm welcome. Like I was, it was nice to be able to talk about it with someone who really knew what was going on and I felt like she was very attentive. So that was great. And so as I was taking the Accutane, the thing that really kept me going was that it worked so well. I would wake up like every morning and my skin would be getting better. For the first month, it definitely kind of went through like a purging process, like my skin got a lot worse and everything was kind of coming to the surface. Um, but then from then on, which is something that my dermatologist told me that was probably gonna happen, so I expected it. Um, so then from then on though, it was literally like every morning I would wake up and like another pimple would be gone. And my skin was just clearing up so quickly. And I stayed on it for six months, but for like the last month, I didn't really have any acne. It was just kind of like the final month of treatment to make sure that it kind of like did its job fully. My skin looked amazing. Like it looked absolutely incredible. There was not a pimple in sight. It was smooth, it was shiny, it was like gorgeous, honestly. And I was trying to tackle some of the side effects that I was having on my own and so I had cut sugar out of my diet. I was drinking a lot of water. Um, and so that with the Accutane, like my skin was just amazing. Like that last month of the treatment really sold me on it. And so I finished my six months, didn't have any pimples on my skin, my skin was totally clear, and I really felt like the half year that I had just spent on this drug was really, really worth it. And my skin cleared up, which I didn't, like if you had talked to me a year prior, I probably would have told you it wasn't possible because I had been trying so many things that didn't work, um, but it really did its job well. So that was about, five years ago now that I did Accutane, which is crazy. Um, it seems like forever. And I still feel like it has been super effective. I don't get anywhere near as many pimples. My skin obviously looks so much better than it did when I was in high school. But I think a lot of people take Accutane and they think that you can kind of just like do Accutane and then you like never have to worry about acne ever again and it's just kind of a done deal, which is not the case. I still get breakouts pretty frequently. I still have to be very cognizant that I have acne prone skin. There are products that I'll use that will cause me to have breakouts. If I eat really badly, etc. all those kind of things will still cause acne in my skin. It does not make your skin impenetrable. It does not mean that you're never gonna get a breakout ever again. What it has meant for me is I can actually treat my acne now. So when I get pimples, when I get breakouts, and I put a topical product on, it actually usually works. And I also feel like when I maintain a good regimen consistently, I can keep my skin from developing acne because my acne is no longer like this deep cystic problem that I had when I was in high school. It's now related to other things, products, pollution, food, sleep, stress, etc. 
or whether I'm different, I'm just not taking good enough care of my skin. So I would stress that. I would say it's not like a one and done, don't ever have to worry about your skin ever again. I would say also I now focus more on other aspects of my skin. Like now that I don't have as much acne anymore, I can actually think about other things in terms of skincare. So I can think about keeping my skin hydrated so that I don't develop premature wrinkles, protecting my skin from the sun, um, focusing on pigment, on scarring, etc. Those are all things that I focus on with my skincare now, as well as preventing acne. In terms of things that I have still struggle with post-treatment. Um, I definitely still have a lot of scarring on my forehead. I have kind of like divots. I don't know, maybe they're visible on camera. Yeah, so you can see. I have like definitely, you can tell that there was acne there. Um, and that has not gone away. Accutane helped it, but um, I'm still working on treating that. And also just kind of like accepting that it's there. And you know, it's a part of the history of my skin and I don't think it necessarily looks that bad. It's not that noticeable. So um, I've made my peace with it, but I am still working on it for sure. And there are products that have helped a lot. Um, I still have very dry skin, so I have to apply a lot of hydrating products. That has been something that's been consistent, is that residual dryness. I have developed issues with my vision, and some of the issues that I had when I was on Accutane with my vision have not gone away. So am I 100% sure that they were caused by Accutane? No. But does it seem like they probably were? Yes. Um, my vision has weakened. One of my eyes is weaker than the other, so there's a little bit of imbalance there. I still feel that sensitivity, especially at night with bright lights. Um, and just bright lights in general are really hard for my eyes, different than how they were pre-Accutane. And I still have lower back pain, so that has not gone away, which is definitely frustrating, but I'm working on it, and I've been incorporating more like yoga into my life and lower back stretches and things like that to kind of work through it, and I've just kind of gotten used to it. But I'm also gonna be kind of seeking care for that and making sure that I'm addressing it and keeping my lower back in as good of shape as possible. So. Um, again, whether that's directly linked to the Accutane, I don't know for sure, but I started to experience it when I was on Accutane and it didn't really ever go away. So um, that is something that I have struggled with since. So I guess the big question that I get asked a lot is, was Accu Accutane worth it? Um, and I say yes, Accutane was. When I tell people my side effects, they sound very drastic um, and they seem like things that people are kind of like, oh my gosh, like I can't believe that you suffer through all of that just for your skin to look better. But it's really hard to understand just how devastating it is to have bad skin and to have really bad acne um, and how defeating it can feel to like feel like nothing that you're using is working and no one is able to help you. I really felt when I was in high school that I was being lied to by all these companies that were telling me that they were gonna cure my acne and that their products would solve my problem and then they never did. And I spent so much time and money, but more importantly, I spent hope on their products. Um, and it was like a confidence killer. It was a mood killer. I would literally look in the mirror and I'd be like, wow, you'd be really attractive if you didn't have those red bumps all over your face. Um, and it was hard especially in high school. So I think it was 100% worth it. The things that I deal with now, vision issues, lower back issues, like those are all things that other people experience too that didn't do Accutane. It's not like they're really weird, rare things necessarily. Um, and so I feel like I'm struggling with things that other people struggle with and I also don't have to struggle with acne as much anymore. So I think it was definitely worth it, but I would say, it's a very personal decision. It's something that you should consult with your dermatologist very carefully on. You should do a lot of research and you should just listen to your body while you're on the treatment if you do it and then also after the treatment and make sure that you're taking care of yourself and that you are keeping in tune with everything that goes on. But I think it was worth it. I'm happy that I did it. Um, and considering the severity of my acne, I think it was a good decision to make to get on it. Now that I'm not on Accutane anymore, my outlook on skin has changed a lot. I have a really newly found, well, not newly, because this was years ago, but it's really what taught me the importance of good skin health and keeping my skin healthy and clear and clean. Um, and even more than that, it has made me really appreciate good products. And so 
that's why I do this. That's why I'm here. Um, I really want to be recommending products that I believe in wholeheartedly that have worked for me, that have proven to me that skincare can be good and skincare can be effective and that it's not all products made by companies that are lying to you or are gonna sell you things that they say will work that don't actually work. And so I've kind of made it my mission to share with the world anyone who will listen or is interested um, in products that I really think work and that are really effective. And so Accutane has really been kind of the start of the journey and has been a huge part of my life ever since. And so I hope that this video was helpful for anyone who is considering it, is curious about it. Um, if you are in the shoes that I was in when I was in high school, there are options out there. It is not the end of the world to have bad acne, um, but I also don't want to minimize it. And I know how hard it is to struggle with acne and how much of a toll it can take on you as a person. And so if you're thinking about Accutane, I would say consider it seriously, talk with your dermatologist, really make sure that you're prioritizing your health and wellness above all else. But if it seems like in your mind, in your dermatologist's mind, in your family's mind, etc., that it's a good option, I think that Accutane was worth it for me. And luckily now I have K-Beauty and skincare that I'm able to use every day that kind of keeps my skin in tip top shape. And that has been really wonderful to be able to make a journey with that post Accutane. So if you have any questions on Accutane about any of the side effects, anything about my course at all, feel free to leave um, any questions in the comments below. If you're also on Accutane, hang in there. Um, I hope it is also worth it for you like it was worth it for me. And feel free to reach out anytime if you have questions or are curious or just want to know more about it. So thanks so much for tuning in and I hope this was helpful and I hope you all have a great, great, great day and holiday season and I will see you next time for my next video. Bye.